This is an audio-visual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2021. Apophyseal avulsion fractures of the pelvis are rare injuries that are mostly found in teenage athletes and typically happen because of a sudden, forceful, or unbalanced contraction of the musculotendinous unit. They often occur at the ischial tuberosity, the site of origin for the hamstrings laterally and a portion of the adductor magnus medially, and commonly afflict gymnasts and sprinting athletes. Currently, no classification system exists for adolescent ischial tuberosity avulsion fractures that can help orthopedic surgeons understand the severity of injury and likely prognosis to deliver timely aid. To address this gap, Researchers from the University of California, San Diego, and the Rady Children's Hospital, San Diego, retrospectively reviewed 45 ischial tuberosity fractures in 10 to 18-year-old patients from 2008 to 2018. This involved recording each patient's skeletal maturity, fracture size, and displacement, and classifying the fractures by location as being lateral, type 1, or complete, type 2. Pelvic Computed Tomography Review demonstrated a consistent pattern of ossification involving five distinct stages. 47% of the fractures were classified as type 1, and 53% were classified as type 2. Type 1 isolated lateral fractures occurred more commonly in younger patients and were smaller in nature, less displaced, and had a 33% chance of progressing to a non-union. In contrast, type 2 complete fractures were larger in size, more likely to have greater displacement, and a 78% chance of progressing to a non-union. Advanced imaging indicated that type 1 fractures involved the semimembranosus and conjoined tendons, whereas type 2 fractures also involved the adductor magnus tendon. This study breaks fresh ground in proposing a classification system for ischial tuberosity fractures that reflects the ossification pattern and tendon attachment. The researchers hope that this will help to identify the patients who are at the greatest risk for non-union and help drive early treatment decisions in an evidence-based manner.